What's up, three pound fishing? Man, we got some stuff to talk about today, but number one is gonna be boat control. We've had this conversation so many times about what's important when you're doing the live scope on the, on the active captain and all that stuff. What's the most important thing? I hear it all the time on the guide trips. It's boat control, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Boat control, and I'm gonna give you some active captain footage. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. And we're gonna be trying out these uh, Bandito crappie jigs. He sent me some. I said, hey, he's friends with JoJo, so I figured why not, I'll give him a shot uh, today. So that's what we're gonna be fishing with. We're gonna be playing around with these for a while and uh, having some fun. Three pound fishing jigs, without a doubt, number one. Um, I use a 30 second ounce, that's my number one jig size. I love it, That's I can catch fish on almost every single lake with that particular size, so that's my favorite. Let's put some fish in the boat, and let's talk about boat control. Let's talk about boat control, big thing. All right, we're gonna be starting with Mississippi Hippie with a pink three pound fishing tackle head. Let me get that off my band -Aid. right there. So we're gonna give that guy a shot right now. I noticed that there was a package in there that had three pound fishing on it as if that's the name of it. So we're definitely gonna be trying that one out. So we're gonna give this guy a rip here and then we're gonna go to that. And we're talking about boat control today. So the key is, let me just tell you right off the bat, it's really simple. Now how we get that boat control is, is what we're gonna go into details today, but is no nose of your boat is always into the wind. the perfect day good eating fish so look at that first fish first cast i think that combination is gonna work good fish right there great fish man all right some of the keys to good boat control let's talk about it is a good trolling motor, right so we talk about you know like these these high-end trolling motors the force uh the ghost the Ultrex. I am a huge fan of the Ultrex. If you want to check out any of these options, go to PTG, by the way. They're a big supporter of 3-pound fishing, and they've got all of these there. But why do you need a really top-of-the-line petroleum motor? Because it has quick left-right movement, powerful thrusting. I don't sit on my... I never sit on my trolley motor and keep going. What I do is I thrust it, I, I pump it, I pulsate it, I pulsate it. And I'm maintaining that, you know, the steadiness of the boat, the same direction of the boat by doing that. I'm not constantly pushing down on the pedal, I'm pulsating it. And because those trolley motors are powerful, because you have such quick left and right movement, it makes it a lot easier for you to do that. And the Ultrax, the Gold, I don't care which one you pick, the, the Gros, the, the Force, um, they're all, if you're choosing between those trolley motors, you're already in a good situation. Um, I think it's key to good boat control. That's another one of these guys. There it is, third cast. Third cast, two fish. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is great, fantastic. Little guy right there, but that's fantastic. That's good stuff right there. So how far do I stay away from the pile? That's the other question, right? So I'm constantly casting now 30 feet. It is where I always start at. I'm, I'm, those fish are always gonna be out there 30 feet and I'm doing a pitch like I just did right there and I'm going right over the pile. And, and already, gosh dang, I'm gonna show you this pile. Of, I just want you guys to have a vibe as to what we're fishing right here. Um, but 30 feet, staying away. So boat control and doing it all about 30 feet away from the pile is, is important. So don't go all up on the pile. I know people, that's the combination. That thing is, that, that thing's rocking it right now. I figured why not, I'll try that out. So this is the three pound fishing one, little guy. I like it. So the key is, it's a fine morning, it's a beautiful morning, uh, but we're gonna have about 20 mile an hour winds today. And so the key is always have these ripples coming right at the front of your boat. I mean, we're kind of in a uh, protective cove right now, which is good, that's where we wanna stay. But it's even in those protective coves, coves you're gonna have a lot of wind. And so the key is always to have your nose into that wind. Now, some people are gonna ask, well, let me just say I've been asked a ton. I've been had a ton of comments about spot lock. Do I use spot lock for fishing brush piles? Absolutely not. Never do I use spot lock. I choose to put my transducer on the trolley motor 
which means when spot lock's there, unless I have a really steady wind, sometimes I might, or it's a massive pile that allows for that movement left and right, that it's gonna have a little bit of you know, play to keep us in that point. Um, I am always on the foot pedal. I think that's important. So I think people that have a pole to worry about or a, a fob that to worry about in controlling your, your trolling motor, I think it's important that you learn how to use your trolling motor so that it can freeze up your hands to do whatever you need to do, to manage the line, to bring in the fish. All those, all those things are, are easier if you're managing your foot pedal with your foot. So it's time on the water. There's no doubt about it. It doesn't happen naturally, but maybe it does for some, but usually it's time on the water. It's time put in to make that happen. So working with your foot pedal is important. Stay away from the key fob. If you choose to use a pole, a, a side mounted pole, which is, you know, some people are excel at it, then that's great too. But it, just remember that spot locking is usually not what tournament anglers will do when they're fishing a pile. It's just not typical that that's, that's the way they're gonna do it. They're gonna usually be moving around that pile a little bit and uh, they want the flexibility of having their foot on the foot pedal. Got well, I gotta tell you, that's a pretty deadly combination right there. I love the size of the bait, which is nice. Boom, right there. Look at that, look at that little guy. That's fun. And again, you know, the whole time I'm catching fish, I, you know, I might, if I use spot lock, it's gonna be, it's gonna be after I catch a fish, maybe when I have to do something in the boat. That's, that's usually the only time I'm using the spot lock function. Um, although, I, and I think it's critical. I, I do think having spot lock is, you know, something that is a must. And if you're choosing between those trolley motors that we talked about, uh, they all have spot lock. Some people try to, to, to use it and they, I know that it must get frustrating. Uh, moving left and right, especially if you chose to put your transducer on your trolling motor, which again, I, I, I like. That's that's the way I choose to do it. Got him, boy. He didn't even bite it. He just put it right in there. Oh, I can feel everything right now. Um, and I'll tell you what, we ain't been out here. For, we ain't been out here for like 12, 13, 15 minutes. Good night. That's deadly. Let's talk about the jigs real quick, just to guys remind people that these are available at threepoundfishing.com. They are high quality, the best jigs I have seen. I am not joking when I say that, and I will say it again, they are the best jigs I have ever seen. It's a modified sickle hook. It's got a, got a rounded back. They are slightly thicker and gauged, so they, they are not considered what I would say a completely a thin wire hook. They will bend, but you can bend them right back. Um, but I've never had one bend when I catch the uh, bait keepers on the back side. But what I like about it most, without a doubt, and people that use the micro braids um, will appreciate the fact that the eyelet is perfect. I do not have to wrap it in that eyelet twice to make sure that it doesn't come out. It is absolutely, positively the best eyelet I have ever experienced. It is closed and I can loop it once and I use a standard regular loop knot just like I do on any other jig. I've not had a problem whatsoever. That is so a little bit bigger eye, I like that. And just the quality is just fantastic. So pink, orange, chartreuse, white, black. They only come in 132nd and 116th because those are the sizes that I believe. And there are a select amount of bait stores out there that do have them. You'll see other videos that are on my social media that can point those, those to you. But threepoundfishing.com is the easiest way to get those jigs. Those jigs are hot, balanced, the highest quality. I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you folks, I got lucky. These things are incredible and I'm impressed by them. So uh, people that are interested in guide trips, give me a holler. Um, got a lot of openings in the winter time. You know, that is some of the best fishing you're going to ever experience. Um, even have some availability still in November, so you can give me a holler. Um, December, November, January, when it gets really cold, I know that sounds strange to people, but on the fishing on my lake, it gets incredibly active. And it's, it's, a, it's just a great time to fish. So check me out at 3poundfishing.com uh, for the guide service. You can email me at 3poundfishing at gmail.com. I'm gonna try this uh, new color from Bandito Jigs right here. Blue steel with that pink head. That looks pretty hot. We're gonna see what that looks like. Out of curiosity. There it is right there. That should be a good throw. There I am coming in. We're gonna go all the way down there this time. And there it was right away. First cast with the three pound fishing one.
They like smaller baits right now, and they really do. We look forward to sharing a lot of things with you guys. Check out the three pound fishing tackle jigs at threepoundfishing.com without a doubt. And uh, boat control, if you have any questions, comment below. Do me a favor, subscribe. That means a lot to me and uh, the three pound fishing. We come out with a lot of videos. We're coming out with a lot of content. So uh, do me a favor and subscribe and share it with your friends. So appreciate you. Have a great fall, folks. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.